So now let's take a look at how to log on and search for a video on EnglishCentral.com. So go to your chosen um, search engine. I'm going to use Google here. And once Google opens up, you're going to simply type in So once you get your Google to open up, sorry, I was operating through proxy, you're going to type in English Central and search. Okay, so you see it's going to be the first site that pops up, EnglishCentral.com. I'm going to open that up. And sometimes this will go to the default language for the country where you open it. So if you'd like to send it back to English language, just click English here and then click sign in. All right, so you're going to type in your email address and your password. Okay, and click login. Now, once you log into English Central, uh, the screen you see is going to have three main tabs. My English tab, which basically allows you to practice as a student. Uh, the Teach tab, which allows you to manage classes, enroll students, adjust your curriculum and, and goals for the students, and check progress reports. But the main tab I want us to focus on right now is the Browse tab. And this is the tab which is used for all of the uh, interactive functions of English Central. So once we go onto the Browse tab, we can search videos based on topic. And there are also ways that we can filter by difficulty level. So you see here on the left is a topic menu. Academic English with many subtopics. Business English, again, many subtopics. So each of these topics on the left have many subtopics. And when you open that up, it will load videos okay, for that topic. For example, travel, English, shopping. We've got 530 videos loaded. And see these, if you put your cursor on the video, you can see that these are medium difficulty level. Medium difficulty level. How do I change the difficulty level? So same topic, travel, English, shopping. But I'm going to come over here, and I can actually find easy videos about travel, English, and shopping. And those are here, and there are 152. Or I could also change the difficulty level to hard. OK. So once you've chosen your difficulty level, let's go back to medium. I think it's going to be better for us here then you can actually choose and load your video. So these medium difficulty travel English videos are now loading. These are all medium. And now we can take a look and choose one of these. Having kids, for example. Okay, so we're going to load this video. It takes just a second to load. Now, once this loads, to have kids or I'm going to show you that actually there are three main tabs after loading a video. There's the Watch tab, the Learn tab, and the Speak tab. The Speak tab is basically pay functions, so we're not going to talk about that today. Today we'll look at the Learn and the Watch tab. And right now we're going to start with the Watch tab. This is the main tab where you watch videos and you can read the subtitles and interact have kids. with the vocabulary. Not within the video. So let me show you how this works. We can go to the previous line, go to the next line, hear a line again, and actually slow down speaking of the line. I'll give you a demo. Not to have kids. I guess that raising kids is one of the hardest jobs a person can do. To have kids or not to have kids. To have kids or not to have kids. To have kids or not to have kids. I guess that raising kids...
As a rough estimate, I bet that 95% of mothers say it is a privilege to have children and watch them grow. And if you see, if you come across privilege. the urge, I just by putting your bet. cursor on the word that mothers privilege. And if you click on the word, then you get details. So privilege, it. it's a noun. Privilege. You hear the word? Privilege. You can hear different sounds. Er, e, v, l, e, j. Privilege. Okay, the meaning of the word. A sample sentence. Er, e, e, e. Privilege. Okay. It is a lot of work, but they say it's definitely worth it. So, so on the watch tab, you can watch the video, you can read the subtitles. Anybody. And you can interact. Married. Complete. With the vocabulary within the subtitles.